Hey everyone, today I'm back with another recipe video. I'll be showing you how to make a delicious and cozy sweet potato and red lentil dal. This is definitely a recipe we reach for a lot. It is a simple one pot recipe that makes for a very filling and nourishing meal. Lentils of course are a great source of protein and iron and red lentils in particular tend to cook a lot quicker than other types of lentils. You don't need to worry about prepping or soaking them beforehand, so it's definitely been our go-to for those busy days after work when we just want to make something that's quick and easy but also healthy and delicious at the same time. For this recipe you are going to need 2 cups of red lentils, one medium brown onion diced, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, four medium sized tomatoes diced. If you don't have fresh tomatoes on hand, then you can use two cans of diced tomatoes. Two medium sized sweet potatoes. Here I'm peeling and chopping them into small three by three centimeter chunks. You can of course keep the skin on the sweet potato for some extra nutrition if you like two large handfuls of baby spinach, washed and roughly chopped, two teaspoons of whole black mustard seeds, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, two teaspoons of chili powder, half of a teaspoon each of turmeric powder, coriander powder and garam masala, three teaspoons of salt, here I'm using pink Himalayan salt, and finally a tablespoon of cooking oil of your choice, today I'll be using some coconut oil. Start off by adding 2 cups of red lentils to a bowl. Wash and drain your lentils a few times, then fill the bowl with enough water to cover the lentils and set aside. Add 1 tablespoon of coconut oil into a large pot on medium heat and allow it to melt before adding in your mustard seeds. As the oil heats up, the mustard seeds should start to pop. Make sure you keep the pot covered to avoid having mustard seeds flying everywhere. Allow the mustard seeds to pop for about 20 to 30 seconds or until the popping starts to slow down before adding your cumin seeds and frying them for about 15 seconds until they are lightly golden. Add in your diced onion and garlic and saute until golden brown. If you notice the onion sticking to the bottom of the pot, just add a splash of water to deglaze the surface. The next step is to add in the diced tomatoes and cook until softened. Once the tomatoes have softened, it's time to season the mixture by adding in the rest of your spices. So add in the chili powder, coriander powder, turmeric, garam masala, salt and stir everything through. Then add in the sweet potato and mix until everything's well combined. Allow the sweet potato to cook for about 2-3 to three minutes before draining your red lentils and adding them to the pot along with 3 cups of water. Give everything a good mix, cover the pot and allow it to simmer on low heat for around 15-20 to 20 minutes, making sure you give everything a stir every now and then just to make sure that nothing burns at the bottom of the pot. The mixture should gradually reduce and the lentils are ready when they are tender and no longer crunchy to taste. This is also the perfect time to add in any extra salt or seasoning to your preference. I tend to make this dish fairly mild but if you like things extra spicy then you can always go ahead and add in some extra chilli. Finally turn off the heat, add the baby spinach and stir through. And that's it! Here we served this dish with some basmati rice and garnished with some freshly chopped coriander. You can also enjoy this with other types of grains such as quinoa or some flatbread or simply enjoy it on its own. This recipe usually makes around 5-6 to six servings. It's also a perfect one for meal prepping beforehand and occasionally I'll make an extra batch of this and freeze it for those days when we're running short on time. As always, I'll leave the written recipe down below in the description box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.